Hello to anybody out there. Uh, today I'm going to play Oil Tycoon, which is a 2001 tycoon game. Came out around the uh, golden age of tycoon games, so to speak. Back when uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon was still new, and Zoo Tycoon, and like Ski Resort Tycoon. Uh, it was just, you know, there's like a laundry list of tycoon games that came out. This one is a pretty low budget one. Uh, I think the company is Blackstar Global, if I remember correctly. I think it was absorbed by another company. I don't think they exist anymore. But, uh, you know, some of those studios were able to throw out some fun, you know, cheap games to play. This was, I believe, $9.99 when it came out, which, uh, you know, by PC games, even back in the day, it was pretty low. Uh, but I used to like, I used to love it playing when I was a kid. I used to have a bunch of the Tycoon games, uh, which I'm hoping to slowly release game by game just to show like a little bit of the gameplay overview. I honestly don't know if you can find this online anymore. Uh, this was like, a, I don't even, I think I saw this once, bought it, and never saw it again. But, you know, it might be out there on Amazon, eBay, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure somewhere it's, you can find it. Um, it's pretty straightforward, <laughs> as the name suggests. You uh, play as an oil tycoon, you gotta drill and sell the oil, then you can eventually expand onto like refineries, you can start building uh, your own chain of gas stations and oil, heating, oil, things like that, uh, expand across the globe. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to play for a little bit, play about 30 minutes, give or take, give a little bit of an overview. Um, slightly slow going in the beginning, but uh, I'm going to try to build up as quickly as possible. I'm not playing against any computer opponents because it makes it easier to uh, kind of level up quickly and expand your business uh, just for the sake of showing it off to anybody who might be interested. So let's begin. Uh, so when you first play, you get to choose a character, things like this. I think you get a pretty much set amount of money. At first, you have to apply for drilling rights within the oil-producing countries. Select a region where you would like to carry out a trial drill on the world map by left-clicking on it. So, I'm going to go with Nigeria, because it's sort of centrally located. You have Europe right here. You have uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the east coast of the United States here. You have South America down here. All these blue ones are refinery areas. So these are cities that have refineries, so you can, uh, you can sell it for money. Um, so as you can see, there's three in Europe, uh, one on the east side of the U.S., Sao Paulo and Brazil, and down here in South Africa. So you have a lot to choose from in this immediate area. So I'm going to click into Nigeria. You have to apply for drilling rights in the country where you would like to conduct a trial drill. Select apply for drilling rights from the left menu. Go to the town where you would like to apply for the drilling rights. You can carry out trial drills in several countries at the same time. I'm going to start with one. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. apply for drilling rights, going to click on Port Harcourt, 333, or 332,000. If you've acquired your first drilling right, initial trials usually take one month, the following trials take up to three months, your engineers will keep you informed on the drilling results. The place where your engineers work is marked with a symbol of a small derrick, left click to be the estimated duration of the trial. That is up here, and yeah, I still got 30 days. Uh, and in here, you need a technology center or to research further technologies. You can build one in the town where you already have a company branch. Go to the respective town and left click on build building, select the technology center, and build it in the desired place. Holy moly. Go back up here. So I gotta found a branch in order to build anything. So. You can build buildings within the different cities, but you have to found a branch there first, which costs money. Um, and the different cities have different like attractiveness and unemployment rates, which can be, uh, should be, I guess I could say, is uh, should be influenced by buildings that you can build for the community, like uh, community pools, schools, hospitals, things like that. Uh, the thinking would be that the nicer the amenities, the uh, more people want to move there and the attractiveness, which means it'd be higher, uh, prior, it, easier to hire employees for your technology center, which is what researches technologies that allows you to expand into other businesses. So this is going to be, since it's my main one, it's going to be Nigeria. I'm going to build a big one. Now I own a piece of land with the company branch is being built. That's down here. And I think I can go ahead and build a technology center. So 
gonna go ahead and build a road network out, which luckily costs no money, which is not overly realistic, but again, for uh, the budget of this game, can't complain. Uh, I like to build out the ne road network in the beginning because the game tends to automatically build buildings, like these little kind of placeholder buildings, like sky rises and warehouses will start to fill up your uh, new road. Which means that if you don't build it out early on, your roads can actually be blocked by buildings, so then you can't build out later, which kind of, you know, includes you in. So, you could do this early on. And I'm gonna go ahead and build Technology Center. And I'm gonna build a little technology park out here, I think. And we'll go ahead and connect that. Ta da! Alright, so that'll take 30 days, that'll take 30 days. I uh, don't remember how long my branch is going to take, but we're going to end the round. Trial drill and no goo was successful. I can, apply, uh, I can employ staff, buy equipment, and build a pipeline. Now I have to let click into the pipeline to start the drilling process. My company will be quoted in the stock market after its first business year. And the business figure should be as good as possible in order to achieve maximum listing. I can do dividends and stuff over in the office later on. Uh, I think, uh, well, after the first year, obviously. Now I gotta click on here. So I gotta hire engineers. And this is the desert. So I want some desert engineers. Now these dudes, I think the higher the wages, the more efficient they are. I don't know if that actually translates into this game, because again, it was uh, semi-low budget. But, uh, why not? Play it safe. Uh, I'm having an issue right now with the number of workers and trying to hire them, because the little thing that allows me to record this game is right over the spot, so I actually can't see. So please bear with me as I randomly click on spots to try to make sure my employee count goes up. If you don't hire enough employees, like if you only hire like 10 or 15 out of, I think it's like 100 max, uh, they actually will leave because they're overworked. So I'm going to click a bunch here and then I'm going to try that again in different spots and just going to sort of pray that I have employees. And again, please uh, just bear in mind that I cannot see at all. There's like a, basically it's like a black line right over this uh, number of, number of, I can't even read, I was after number of workers. All I can see is like half the W. So uh, yeah, so there's a lot of guessing now, but I'm gonna hope I hit that. Now I'm gonna buy equipment, gonna get a cutter, a rinsing device, a heavy drill, Oil pump, lifting gear, drill rods, tackle, and scaffolding. You can also lease, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, it's just easier for me to buy because I don't have to worry about the leasing prices and stuff. Food, you need to buy food for your employees, but I'm going to set that to auto. So I don't have to worry about it. Security. So I don't have any uh, characters I have to worry about. There's no other computer characters. When you play against computer characters, you can actually sabotage each other, um, which is why you need security to try to cut down on that. This is my branch. Not built yet. Technology Center. 30 days. So I'm going to end this round. My branch is finished in Port Harcourt. Out of my own branch with a warehouse. Now I have to connect the oil well to the warehouse. And my technology center is done. And I can research technology centers or uh, research technologies there. It should go without saying. Build pipeline. So it's going to be another $228,000. Connection to the oil. The warehouse is ready. Crude oil is flowing directly into my tanks. The produced oil has to be shipped to a refinery. Uh, Ergo are an example of Rotterdam or Tokyo. You can charter tankers by selecting charter tankers, blah, 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 blah. I'll do that in a second. I have no oil at the moment because I need to end the rounds. But I also.
also want to hire some research scientists so I can start researching new technologies. These are all the technologies you can research which allow you to eventually unlock additional business opportunities. Uh, again, like the refinery, having your own refinery and having your own like gas stations, things like that. So then you don't need any middlemen. You can control the entire market, have a monopoly, and then become a tycoon. Aha! So I'm going to start with business knowledge just in the beginning. Uh, I'm going to end this round. Go into Port Harcourt. Oh yeah, I got the max topical. So we're going to charter a tanker over here. There are different sized tankers. Uh, I can hold different amounts of oil since I only have, uh, I don't have a ton of oil at the moment. I'm going to start with the lowest, cheapest one. And now I got to decide where I want it to go. So I'm going to look at the global market prices uh, and see who's doing the most. So Odessa, New Orleans, Rotterdam. Do, 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 do. Uh, you also have to bear in mind, so there's different speeds on these boats, and depending on your distance from the refineries, uh, it can affect how long it takes for your oil to get there. So you could, you know, theoretically send two or three ships to, say, Palo, which is right across the ocean, in the same amount of time it would take you to send one to, like, Tokyo, which is almost on the other side of the world. So you want to kind of factor that in. So, like, if Tokyo had, you know, $20 uh, per whatever this is, I don't think it says liter or whatever it is. So if it was 20 for Tokyo and like 16 for Sao Paulo, yeah, Tokyo pays more, but Sao Paulo is so much closer, I could get way more out of going to Sao Paulo. Um, I'm trying to think, New Orleans is close enough and pays enough extra per whatever that I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if it's liters or gallons. I think it's a Europe. I don't know if this is, I think this is a European game for some reason, but I may be wrong. Anyway. Good New Orleans. Was I right? Right? It was New Orleans. Yep, 1660. I'm going to end this round. Oh, it only took one day to get to New Orleans. So I got $600,000. And it's already filled back up. I'm going to charter another tanker. New Orleans is now the cheapest, so I'm going to go to Sao Paulo, because Sao Paulo and now has more money. I'm going to do that. got 631000 As you can see, I was starting to run, I uh, spent about half my money before, now I'm back. Which is pretty good. Hmm. I'm going to go back to Sao Paulo. Oh, my technology has been completed. So I'm gonna go back. I'm actually gonna hire more. That speeds up the quickness of technology research. Just do that. I think I can build another one. Right. Yep. So it's actually I'm gonna do that. Technology park down here. And if you squint, you can pretend you're playing uh, SimCity as well. Tycoon, give back some of the money to the community. Improve their arch or, uh, infrastructure. Ooh, look how Marseille. I can't, I think Marseille takes a little while to get to, but we'll give it a try. And the ramp. Ooh, these ships are moving faster than 
Oh, Chris Mercedes uh, Mercedes right there. That's why I thought Mer that's Odessa. That's right up in there. All right. Uh, let's look at that. Well, I'm still kind of low on money, but that's okay. Holy moly, Marseille is almost nineteen dollars. Do that again. Look at that. Technology center was finished. Technology was researched. This was a good week. I'm almost at five million dollars, which is great. I'm only one point two million dollars short of where I was when I started. Bless you, Marseille. Uh, I'm gonna do Marseille again. Geology. Gonna hire some uh, more researchers. This will cut into my weekly profits, so that's why I need to keep up the shipments of oil, but I also need to make sure they start researching as well. Let's go with that. Did I do? I got a ship. Versailles, 700,000. Geology was researched. Amen. To the market prices this week. Do, 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 do. LA, too far away. Tokyo, too far away. Hmm. To Marseille, New Orleans. I think I'm going to go back to Marseille and hopefully New Orleans will be able to pay a little bit better. I think Marseille is getting flooded with oil, so it's uh, getting cheaper there. So I'm going to do chemistry, I'm going to do physics. Durban, South Africa is actually paying a lot, which is right around the corner, so to speak. Durban. And we're going to do automation. And I'm going to have them start. Personnel management, and I think I think I need to apply for uh, drilling rights somewhere else. At Houston, good old U.S. of A. Uh, to apply for drilling rights, yeah. Well. That way I can kind of keep uh, this little area right here, and then I can focus over here with this. I can have two drilling going at the same time. Let's end the round. And a trial drill of Mardi Gras edition cutters are needed. Material cost 20000 That's okay. And we'll pull into Durban for 768000 Technology, technology, research. So the further I tech I research into these, I'll be able to start building some other things. Uh, like, uh, hold on, it's New Orleans. So New Orleans has a refinery, which is why it's where I send my oil to. Once I research enough technologies, I can actually start building my own refineries. That I can do trucking terminals, I can build gas stations, I can do heating oil, machine oil, and expand into other markets, which is what I'm trying to get to right now. I think that's, that's still researching. So while I wait, I need to keep money coming in, so I'm going to charter another tanker. Durban, oh god, LA, 19. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. LA is paying a lot. <laughs> But I'm too far away. Trial Mardi Gras successful. Durban technology, technology. So I got it back here. there's oil here, I'm going to go ahead and apply for a branch to medium in Texas. i wait for that to finish. I don't want to spend all my money. Uh, speaking of money, I'll go ahead and charter another tanker. There's 
Derp and Derp's pain. Well. Oil well is now complete. Fantastic. I got almost seven eight hundred thousand dollars. Technology, technology, company has quoted the stock market. 25% of the common stock has already been introduced to the market. Please consider a dividend distribution for my shareholders. I don't believe I have any shareholders. There are 25,000 shares available. I own 75,000. I'm pretty sure there's only 100,000 in total, so that's nice. Our stocks are 14.40 each at the moment. It works for me. Uh, I have no other shareholders, so I'm not going to care about that at the moment. Uh, Marseille. Ooh, it's paying well. So I'm going to go ahead and charter up. Marseille. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, diesel engine sounds good. Metals, hydrocarbon. Yeah, we'll go with metals. Still being worked on. That's okay. I just want to have two uh, places where oil is coming in. So that I have two sources of income at the same time, which means I can build another technology center and speed up my technology. You now I have your own tankers built in my own shipping company, which means I don't have to depend on chartered tankers anymore. So I could build a ship uh, building uh, business, more or less, inside the uh, any of these cities. Uh, that way I don't have to charter tankers, but I don't want to put that much money into it at the moment. Because I don't really have... Ah, oh, did I end that round? That was an accident. But I starved the market of oil, so the prices went up. So that works for me. Do Durban. It's kind of like I uh, might own OPEC, and there's literally no competition. Which is great in the game. Not really. Like Durban. Metal tampering. And metal refinement. Sounds good. Alright, let's see. Branch. Why is there no? How long is it gonna take? I'm so confused. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but because I'm pretty sure this is not done yet. Oh well. And there we go. Finish Durban. Technology, technology, technology. Alright, let's get it. Market prices. Holy moly, Tokyo. I wish you were closer. Marseille, $20.13 per. I definitely go back to Marseille. I cannot wait to see how much money that is. Machine guns. That seems uh, necessary for an oil petro company. Cool, now I gotta hire employees and food and... I actually don't know what kind of an environment this is. Not a forest? Been to Houston. Uh, it wasn't exactly foresty, it wasn't mountainy, it wasn't deserty. It wasn't watery. I mean, yeah. I, I, don't know. I have no idea where the water is meant to be, I guess. Because there's no, like, uh, offshore drilling. It's definitely not mountains. Definitely not ice. Definitely not desert. Guest forest? Alright, Houston, we're gonna consider you a forest. Again, I'm guessing the employee thing here. Uh, I hope I'm in the right spot. I'm just gonna try to click this, because I gotta get like at least 30, 40, 50 employees to kind of keep this thing running. Or they all start to quit, and I do not want to lose all of my employees. So you're probably watching and thinking, uh, Hey, you're not clicking it, or hey, you are clicking it. Unfortunately, I can't hear you right now because you're in the future. That's okay. We're gonna hope that was it. Gotta buy more equipment. Do 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 do. I can actually 
uh, as I research more, I'll be able to build my own equipment manufacturing place, uh, which can actually improve the level of the equipment, which is cool. Why is all this? I thought the price is supposed to disappear. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm buying a bunch of extra stuff that I don't actually need. I guess I'll find out. Alright, well. I'll set that to auto. No security needed. So I've got nothing. We'll see if that worked when I come back. That's already chartered to go. That's my technology. I wish there was a shortcut on the side for your technology centers. Good. 816,000. Technology. Nope. Hmm. I think that was a glitch. Yeah, pretty sure that's a glitch. I have no idea if the cutter is actually bought because, again, that black mark for me recording this video is there. Uh, I don't know if I have employees or not, but what the hell, we'll give that another try. Uh, let me charter a tanker down here in the meantime. We're just going to guess Marseille is still paying well. I have no idea why I would need a bazooka, but uh, one in Rome. I really want technology, technology, technology. I should have read that last one because that was about this one. Oh, okay. So now I've got oil coming. Great. Uh, which. I think I have to compete amongst myself for the tankers, which is why I probably should go ahead and start building my own. And let's see, where am I going? Durban sounds good. Yes, yeah, so I think I have to buy a more expensive ship because I just used the cheapest one on uh, Nigeria. So let's give this a try. Yep. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Uh, Marseille is right across the pond, as is Rotterdam. Alright, I guess we'll do... Let's change it up. We'll go to Rotterdam. And... Did I do more technology? So as you can see, uh, I haven't built anything in this city yet. My attractiveness is zero. How much money do I have? Let's build something cheap. I think a park is pretty... Pretty affordable. Look at those pretty high rises coming near my technology park center. I like to think all my uh, researchers live in there. Uh, we'll give something to the town. There we go. Beautiful. And in fact, I'm going to actually expand the road network. Probably shouldn't have built that park because uh, I'm kind of running low on money, but that's okay. Delcourt and Durban, 800 some thousand. My technology is researched. That is taking forever to get to Rotterdam, but that's okay. It will get there eventually, and I'll cash in and make a lot of money. Oh, Rotterdam is actually paying. Okay, so that'll work out. I think I'm going to go to. Marseille again. So 
So in fully staffed, these technology centers and research pretty quickly. So you just gotta go through a bunch of rounds and make sure you don't go bankrupt. In the meantime... So there's no oil. Uh, that's good. Uh, let's do that. Summer side, got paid, new technology, new technology. Why do I not have... I'm so confused. Did my employees quit? Do I have employees? I don't know. I can't move that thing, unfortunately. But, uh... Huh. Yeah, I don't think I have employees. That's the problem. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know why morale is so damn low. Oh, I see. That's interesting. So it actually tells me needed persons thirteen. Need a person zero. But I'm gonna hire an extra few because I want to make sure they don't quit. Okay, uh, so that's why I was getting no oil there. That was annoying, but uh, it's okay. Let me go back. To, I'm gonna go to say Palo this time. <laughs> Change it up. So close. So Palo. Technology, technology. So I should have oil in Houston again. Hey! Oh man, I actually have a lot of oil. Alright, that works. Uh, let's see. Ho ho ho, Durban, Sipa. Ooh. Hmm. Alright. Technology Center, probably. I don't know. I might actually be done technology by the time I don't make that much money. Look at that. Technology. Ugh. So far from Durban. Alright. How are we doing? So, Palo, Durban, and Tokyo. You're gonna go back to say Palo. It's funny, it seems like my little one is moving faster than the big one, but last time I played it was the opposite. But that's okay. Yeah, alright. Let's see how this works out. So I got three million dollars right now. Alright, 2.5 million. Go for it. Technology, technology. Ugh, still not there. I was expecting everything to pull in at the same time, but it didn't. And let's check out this prices again. Oh my dear sweet lord. Durban and Sepalo are both paying pretty well. Durban's the best, 22. So I'm gonna head off to Durban. Yeah. It's gonna be expensive to charter. I don't know if there's any left to charter. We'll do say Palo. 
trying to see, did I do my technology summon? Eight hundred, eight hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. That's two point four million in one trip. That was great. Technology I can now build my own refinery. Oh, so close, so good. Hardcore technology. I'm gonna. I need more money though before I start doing investing in. Tokyo is paying so much, but so far away. I'm gonna send you to San Paulo. And you, Houston. Charter. Nope, that's not what I meant. Send you to San Paulo as well. Ah. Rocket launcher, yeah. Just like Exxon and Mobile, I'm sure they all have uh, nuclear fission. Yep. I think right, they're ready to go. All right, so I got 3.6 million. Let's see how this got 800 technology production plant. So the research results my scientists practically use improved equipment and many other things can be produced here. And more technology. Why is it taking so slow for those things to pull in? I wanted all my money to be bumped up. Durban, Rotterdam, look at these places, they're paying great. It is nice to be king. I'm gonna send you to Rotterdam. Just to change it up. And. Uh, vision. Eight hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. Technology, technology. I don't know why I would need fission. I wish I could build like nuclear plants, that would be cool, but I can't, so... I don't quite understand. That's okay. Uh, Rotterdam is 23,000. Damn. Odessa still hasn't paid anything. Damn Russians. Alright, let's see. Shutter tank. Did oh god. Eh, you say Paolo, it's close. And. 900,000 in Rotterdam. 800,000 say Paolo. 900,000 in Rotterdam. Technology, technology. Let me see. I think. Ah, Tokyo. Durban's not paying that. What was Sao Paulo still paying? Going back to Sao Paulo. Uh, and Houston will send to Sao Paulo as well. So I'm going to go back to my technology center. I'm pretty close to having all technologies researched. Uh, that is great. Is there anything left up here right now? So you know what? I'm actually going to end this round. Hopefully I'll be back up over 6 million, and then I'm going to build a refinery. Nope. But my technology is done. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's see, Durban, Rotterdam, Cipala. How about Cipala? Because it's right next door. At least make a quick, whatever, 600, 600, 700,000. Uh, let me do my research because I think these guys are so close. All my research is almost done. There'll be nothing left. Marketing. Commerce. 100,000 Sao Paulo, 600 in New Orleans. Technology, technology. Can I build one distribution center for heating and oil machinery? Uh, I reckon own at least one petrol station. Go to the menu building. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, so this is where the fun really begins. Let's see. Say Palace being 21. Marketing is done. Manager of the month prize. Business money maker is awarded. Two hundred thousand. Oh yeah! I just won two hundred thousand thanks to that magazine. Awarding me business man of the year. Distribution. It's gonna fire my employees, but I guess I'll wait till it's all uh, done. Tokyo, Rotterdam, Cipala. Cipala is still. Alright, so my next step is to build a refinery, and I think I'm going to do that in Durban. So let me. Get you dudes going. Gonna build a refinery. Durban, I don't know what I'm doing with this. So bear with me, a little bit of a learning curve, that's why I wanted to have some money saved up. And it's gonna take 150 days. Okay. Sounds wonderful. I think. Inhabitants 209,000. As you build out the road network, the inhabitants actually go up. Which, uh, logically, should mean more money. I don't know if that actually translates in the game. Why not? Roads are free to build for me. How about the nice people? It's a pallet. Technology is done. Which means I can fire all my people because they cost me two thousand dollars a month. So that's eighty thousand per technology center. That costs. So that'll save me one hundred sixty thousand a month. Sorry guys. Nothing personal. Just business. But feel free to apply for a job at one of my many refineries that are about to come online. Why is... Oh yeah, I was going to say, why is Durban not here? But it's because I'm building a refinery. So it's in you to Apollo. Uh, 
Ah oh, man, 150 days. Oh, it's New Orleans again. It's Apollo, 800, 700. How's my refinery coming? Eighty-nine days. That is wonderful. Let's go ahead and do this. Yes, it has been staying up on the prices. Uh, bless them. And let's see, my employees are fired. Not yet. I think it slowly starts to run out of employees. Uh, Send you back to New Orleans for a quick buck. Eight hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred, eight, eight, sixteen. Uh, plus another six is twenty-two. But twenty-two point three million, right? Yeah, yeah. Oof, and I got no more tankers floating around. I'm not even looking at the market prices. I'm just gonna sell these guys. And I'm gonna. See Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm trying to move quickly because I want to get my refinery on line. Damn it. Head back down to Durban. Alright, two more rounds. Eight, seven, that was 1.5 million. I'm going to do this round. I'm going to go see if I can build... Let's see if I can build my uh, gas stations already, actually. Can I? I need a truck terminal. Alright. Durban. Truck turbin, the truck terminal is finished, my refinery is finished. Canal start processing crude oil from now on. All the crude oil delivered to this port by your tankers will be brought to your refinery automatically. Click on your refinery to select the procedure. The procedure can be changed again at any time. Okay, well, in the meantime, I am going to. Fill out my bank account, because I. Don't, this is a bit of a learning curve. I don't remember exactly how the refinery works. I think I have to choose a specific type of oil, and that oil corresponds to specific things I can do with it. So, let's take a check. I do have to hire employees. Let's start with 50. Until I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So thermal cracking is 20% petrol, 40% heating, 40% machine cracking. So this is... Oof. What do I want? Petrol? Let's try that, because I'll start with a gas station. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So my tr trucks... Will distribute uh, machine oil, machine oil to the consumer, heating, and uh, heating as well, right? It's kind of hard to read. All right, cool. Also, it's going to need some employees, but I have no gig. I guess there's really no point in doing that yet. 100 petrol stations, 130,000 takes 30 days. All right. Why is there less people living here now than there was before? You know what I'm gonna build? Uh, to encourage people to move here is a school. There we go, people like schools. 
and I'm an oil company, and uh, it's early 2000s, so everybody doesn't hate me quite yet, but might as well get ahead of the curve and start building. I did just tear down a tree, but uh, it's for the children, so should balance out, right? So what I actually need to do now is send 900,000, 700,000 petrol station. Now I can change the sale price from a petrol in the menu petrol station any time in order to make your petrol station more attractive. You can extend it with a garage and or a shop. Please click on the petrol station and select petrol station extension provided your research is sufficient to do so. Uh, account was cleared off. Uh, contents of 80,000. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do Houston. Houston is a regular money maker. And Nigeria is going to Harcourt is going to send money to Durban. Right? Yeah. So then my refinery will start refining. Alright. Let's see how this goes. 800,000, say Paolo. So that should cover the basics. I'm hoping that'll cover my expenses. So Houston will just keep doing what it's doing. That'll cover my base expenses as I try to figure out how to do the refinery. Because as I remember, you actually can make a lot more money off of doing everything yourself, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, okay. You just gotta figure out how to actually make it all work. So... Probably actually have too much oil going to the refinery now. So let me see... Stored crude oil, 399,000, hydro cracking. Cool, nothing's been made yet, but that's okay. We're gonna keep hiring. Double my employees. The petrol station has zero leaders. Also gotta, I guess I'll start hiring some employees. I don't know, I seem to be doing okay budget wise. Um, I just don't know. Some small trucks. That's right, I gotta order. I'll take 60 days. Right? Alright. Uh, gotta hire these guys too. 30 workers. Thousand each. Yeah, so we gotta keep Houston rolling. So Paulo for eight hundred thousand. Uh, Voyager arrived my refinery in Durban. Great. Alright. There is a level of guessing here with my truck depot and refineries and all that down in Durban. Speaking of which, I need to go back down here and see. I don't understand. I have all this crude oil, but I have no... Am I missing something? Alright, well, I'll go ahead and build a heating oil distributor since I'm here. Eh, what the hell, why not go ahead and do a machine oil distributor as well? It's like 30 days. Small truck was finished in Durban. Tanker, Sao Paulo. Durban, machine oil center is finished. 
Oh yeah, look at that. All that petrol, heating oil, and machine oil. Now, petrol stations. There it is. Oh, that's why it was all grayed out, because I had no trucks. So, I'm going to send one small truck to my petrol station, so I'll start filling up the petrol station. And I'm going to hire some people here. Shoof, 60 workers. Alright, now we're cooking with oil. Ha 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 ha. Uh, that is a horrible joke, I do apologize. Let me see. How many... This is going... It's actually going now. But I gotta get these damn trucks. I gotta make sure I don't run out. And oil, which is kind of the same thing here. Alright, let me see. Back to Durban. And the round. Small truck, tanker. Refinery machine oil. I'm so confused then. Oh, so refinery machine oil distribution, and then I need one from the machine oil distribution to the consumer. I see. So I gotta have one in every category. That's a pain, but all right. I do get it though. All right. I'm just gonna keep this up for a couple of rounds, and I should be relatively self-sufficient. It's going well, and then I'm gonna actually start building schools. Schools for everybody. Schools for Houston. Schools for Nigeria. Schools for South Africa. And then it'll go back to Durban. Just as a reward, since I'll be filthy rich at that point. Alright. Yeah. Look at that. I'm actually... I'm just going to do one everywhere for the moment. So that means I should have... Alright, so there's 400,000 liters in storage, that's great. My petrol station, 84,000 liters, to an extent. Just because I can. And this is nothing because I didn't send the trucks through yet. They're still pumping away. It's gonna charter, gotta keep the oil flowing down the Durban. Let's go back to the world. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I haven't forgotten about you, say Paula, which is still paying pretty good. Let's end this round. Small trucks finished in Durban. Tanker extension. Petrol stations are done. All right, this is going well. I'm just gonna, you know, uh, how much is New Orleans paying? Oh god, yeah, I can't compete with City Paulo. So you're going back to City Paulo. Let's end this round. Small truck. Tanker, tanker, tanker. $12 million. Damn. Now I'm cooking. This is taking so damn long. Alright, well, my guys are getting rich. Uh, 
I'm getting rich. You know what rich people like? Golf courses. So... Let's build this away from the industrial section, shall we? We'll build a little residential section over here. Right. Yeah, near the school. Ooh, right. Don't wanna... Nah, I'm gonna do it. Look at that. Your petro dollars at work, folks, right there. Sure, it's terrible for the environment, but look at that gorgeous golf course. It's a nice public school. Eh. Yeah. man, look at that. I still have so much money, too, after I built that thing. Alright. Going down there. This is pretty much just. I wish I could schedule this automatically. If anybody's out there, if you're a programmer and looking for a game to uh, buy the rights to and redo, uh, <laughs> and you have no other ideas, uh, by all means, get this one. There's so many cool things you could do to update it. Uh, Rotterdam, Sao Paulo. Right? There's really not much left for me to do at the moment. Medium truck, finally. Refinery is full. Yeah, my refinery is to the brim. Machine oil, that was empty. Odd. Hold on a second. doubling up here. I'm trying to. Do that. That. Has zero liters. Good. Good, good, good. I don't know why that is. Why do I have no heating? And why do you have no... Hmm. I'm confused, but alright. You know what I'm gonna do in the meantime? I'm gonna build a school. The place that started it all. Love you guys. You know what else? I'm gonna build a school for Houston. I said schools for everybody. I wasn't kidding. I'm having trouble scrolling. I think it's because that thing at the bottom there. Oh, okay. Hello, Houston. city. Alright. Uh, look at that. God, I still have more money than I know what to do with. Now I know what it feels like to be a petrochemical company. Alright, so I'm pretty much a monopoly. I have a monopoly now. Works for me. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm just gonna out. But I have so much money coming in. I've cornered the market. I could build more refineries in different places and gas stations. Speaking of... Yeah, look at that. The inhabitants went back. Went up by like 30,000. Works for me. Fifteen million. Look at that. Ah. Oh. 
station in Durban done. Just don't understand why they're not getting any oil. I don't know if building another one actually makes sense, but uh, I'm gonna find out. That's pretty much it. Again, extremely straightforward, simple game. I love it. Uh, I don't know. Simple but fun, relaxing. And oh, Molly. In the meantime, I'll build you guys a swimming pool. Station extensions finish. And now, so much money. Yeah, now it's a waste of oil now. The truck is taking a while. Yeah, all I'm gonna do now is build uh, some stuff in my cities. Even as I keep building stuff, it uh, keeps accumulating. My next step is going to be to build a refinery here, but uh, I think I'm going to cut the video now because it's an hour and ten minutes in, uh, and it's basically just going to be a continuation of everything I already did. But I uh, hope people enjoyed. If, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think where you can find this game. Just play around, hopefully on eBay, Amazon, somewhere, somebody will have it. Definitely worth it because I can't imagine it being, you know, it's gotta be like five bucks at this point in time. Uh, I wish Steam had it, it doesn't, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed, anybody who's watching, uh, especially this far in. Funny about different companies I own, I can sell different sections. Uh, but I have nobody, no competitors, so nobody is buying my stuff. Although my stock has doubled, which is great. Uh, yeah, hope uh, hope anybody who watched this enjoyed. It's fun. It's definitely uh, I don't know, can 
kill a couple hours just playing it. And it's uh, nothing over the top. It's not uh, overly complex, but uh, I don't know. It's just fun, silly, simple. And but yeah. Otherwise, I uh, hope everybody enjoyed and take care. And hopefully, we'll see you in the future.